Hello and welcome to Taxi Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about which JavaScript framework to learn. Now if you're going to learn a framework and you're investing all the time and energy, you want to make sure that you pick a right framework to learn for many different reasons. So what we're going to do, we're going to take first four famous frameworks, Angular, React, Ember and Vue.js. And we're going to compare these not based on opinions, uh, because opinions are dime a dozen. Everybody have opinion and we don't really care about opinions. We care about facts because we make decisions on facts. So we will look at job market. Which one is better for job market? Which one is more popular? And obviously learning curve. If you want to pick something, you want to make sure that it's easy to learn. And obviously documentation. If you're learning, you want to make sure that it, there is enough documentation available and it's not confusing. And last but not least, future. Does this framework has any future? Because if you're gonna learn and invest in something, you wanna make sure that it will continue to be supported and there is a community behind it so that two years later, they don't, it doesn't get extinct and you have to learn something else after that. Which framework is very popular? And it's easy to do, you can do it by yourself all you have to do is go to Google and just say GitHub React and you will get the first link which is React and if you click on it and you can look at the stars, how many stars it has gotten which is 75,000. So React is very popular. It's only a few years old but still it has so many stars. Now let's look at Angular and Angular has 27,000 stars. So quite less than React, but it is still very popular. Now Ember.js has 18,000. So now let's look at Vue.js. Vue.js has 66,000 likes, which makes Vue.js second popular after React. In terms of popularity, there is React.js, Vue.js, Angular, and then Ember. Now the second factor is job market. Popularity and job market is kind of goes hand in hand, but it's little different. Uh, framework can be very popular, but it takes job market to catch up. So once it becomes popular, people start implementing for their companies. And so there's a lag behind. Also, different companies have different preference. For example, in United States, React is really red hot. A lot of people are going after React. But if you look, look at India, India has Angular. Still a lot of people like Angular because it's a full framework and it's maintained by Google. And a lot of people like that factor. And I would love to know what is popular in your country. In order to understand which framework is hot in job market, I'm just gonna go to indeed.com and I can really search on all the frameworks and how many jobs are available. Now I'm gonna do in my city, which is San Jose, California. So I'm just gonna say Angular. Well, it came up with about uh, 691 jobs. Now remember, there are a lot of jobs which like it has a Python uh, developer, but it would say AngularJS nice to have. A lot of people are looking for older version of Angular because they might have a project in place set up a few years ago where they were using older version of Angular and they're looking for people to maintain that. So because Angular is much older framework, you might have more jobs. Now, if I look at React, now React is a very common word. So instead of React, we should do use React.js. About 317 jobs. Um, Ember. Ember has 143 jobs. Still a good amount of jobs uh, for a city. And Vue. Vue has only 45 jobs. So in terms of job market, Angular, React, Ember, and Vue. And you also want to do this exercise for your job market, uh, whichever country you are in. Now the third factor is learning curve. This is, I think, the most important a lot of times because when you start to learn, you want to make sure it's easy to learn it and you are comfortable with, let's say if you learned older version of Angular, moving to React might be a little difficult, but moving to Angular 4 might be easier. So 
that is a decision you can make. Let's start with Angular. Angular uses TypeScript. Well, you can use a pure JavaScript, but most of the people are picking TypeScript because uh, that's um, natural to Angular. And it's not standard, so you have to learn one more uh, language. It's not that hard, I would say. Setting up Angular is very easy nowadays. You can use Angular CLI and you can, in minutes, you can build projects. Like this project I built, it took me like five minutes. Created a component for me uh, to start with. It has testing environment built in. So uh, each component has its own uh, test automatically built in for me uh, using Jasmine. And it uses Webpack. So it's pretty neat. Also, another thing is uh, the templates for each component is separate than the TypeScript file. Angular actually still uses JavaScript inside its HTML, like for on-click and all that, which I think is still kind of weird and the syntax is a little bit non-standard, so which you have to get used to it. Now let's look at React. React got really popular because of the virtual DOM concept and a lot of people love it because it's fast and all but writing react it's a little weird when you start out because they use a special uh, templating language called jsx so if you look at this react project uh, it has uh, this weird html looking uh, thing but it's actually uh, inside the javascript it's not really html but it looks like html uh, it's called JSX. So there is a little bit of learning curve there. However, what I like about React is it uses a pure JavaScript, uh, like this statement here, which is really great. For the data layer, uh, Redux, if you use Redux with React, it's really powerful. I really love Redux. So that's another advantage uh, for, for using React. However, Redux is a little bit difficult to learn in the beginning, but once you get hang of it, it's not that bad. And one of the bad thing about it, about React, is it mixes all the JavaScript and HTML into one. But again, if you keep using it, you get used to it and it's fine. Now let's look at Ember.js. Ember.js, um, it's probably the easiest to learn. It has a great CLI, which helps you build a project much easily you can build a project in five minutes using CLI and the syntax is pretty simple as well it has the differentiation of the the template JavaScript and CSS separate and it doesn't mix the JavaScript and HTML which is also good so here's an example of Ember um, it's very clean the, the JavaScript is very clean you have a model you have actions the only bad thing about still Ember is it still has controllers, which will go away soon. So not everything is component. So the main route would have a controller, um, but inside you can use components. Um, so they haven't figured out yet how to do routable components, just like um, Angular does. But I believe that, that the next version, they'll have routable components. But I think it's probably one of the easiest language to learn. Let's look at Vue.js. A lot of people are excited by Vue.js because it's very natural looking, unlike uh, Angular and React, which does all the mix and match. Vue.js is probably the most natural looking uh, framework. As you can see here, you have data, its title, and it's using that JSON, and you have methods. It's really clean and it has HTML and JavaScript separate, and that's the, the that's the beauty of it. And that is one of the reasons it's getting very popular because it's very natural. They learn from all the mistakes that other people made, and they made it really beautiful. It's still not very popular, but it's getting there. It's it's also a very good choice, and it's very easy to learn. So in terms of all four, I would say Vue.js. It's very easy, Ember is very easy, then I would put Angular and then React. Let's talk about documentation. Angular is recently stabilized after the version four. Before that, it was a chaos. It had the older version of uh, Angular and then it came up with two, which is completely different. And then there was no three, and then there was four. 
you know, if you want to search, oh, I want to do this, and you get all kind of different um, versions, and it can get really confusing. However, their their main uh, website, Angular.io, is pretty neat. It has really a lot of details. But again, if you get stuck and you want specific answers, then it can be really confusing. React is a relatively new framework, so it has it doesn't have a lot of documentation, but it has very consistent documentation, I, sh I should say. So if you search on something, you're not going to find something that is very stale. Uh, so that's the good thing about it. And their website is not that bad as well. Um, it has, you know, pretty much everything covered, except it doesn't have a lot of good tutorial. I always like a good project that I can just look at it, compile it, and, and, and learn from it. Um, it does have few tutorials, but I did not find it really good. I had to look outside for those tutorials. So in terms Ember, Ember doesn't have, it does have good documentation, but because it has a very smaller base, uh, sometimes if I want to look, if I'm looking for something, I usually don't find that easily. So in terms of documentation, I would say Ember is uh, lacking behind. Vue.js. Uh, Vue.js has pretty good documentation, I would say. I haven't explored it a lot, so I would not say too much about uh, the documentation on Vue.js, but uh, according to a lot of friends who are using it, uh, they are very happy with it. So, so I would say in terms of documentation, I would put Angular, React, Vue, and Ember. Future. Which framework has good future? Angular has backup of Google, which makes it very powerful because Google is powerful and they are doing everything to make sure it, it works for everybody. So I think that is a great future. React is backed by Facebook and Facebook is getting very powerful. They have energized a lot of people. So I think React is also has good feature. Amber initially wasn't backed by any particular company, but I noticed that LinkedIn specifically is developing a lot of things for Amber. So basically Microsoft is taking interest in it since LinkedIn is Microsoft. Um, I think it also has a good future. And Vue is not backed by any company. However, a really cool framework and a lot of people are energized by it. So I would say it also has good future. But if I have to rank them one to four, I would put Angular, React, Ember, and Vue in that order. So here is my advice. You can make a decision based on what I already explained, but ultimately you wanna make sure that whichever area you're living in, you have a good job market for whichever framework you're learning. Don't try to learn multiple frameworks at the same time. Rather focus on one framework and regardless of the frameworks, the first thing you need to do is learn JavaScript because without learning JavaScript, uh, it will be very difficult to learn any of those frameworks, especially ES 2015 version. All of these frameworks use the latest version of JavaScript, which is ES 2015, ES 2000. 16. So I would suggest to uh, make your base stronger in JavaScript before getting into any frameworks. And lastly, I am trying to create um, tutorials on a a React and Angular, both. I'll start with the Angular first because a lot of my viewers have asked for it. Within a month, uh, I'll start a new series on Angular. And after that, I'll start a series on a React. So watch out for it. And I don't have any plan for Amber and Vue.js um, because of the, 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 the time limits I have, but um, you never know. All right, so good luck with that. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Thank you.